Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel named Inside Angle and this series named The Final Battle. I am CA Devesh Shatwani who cleared July 2021 CA final exams with an All India Rank 13 and May 18 entered exams with an All India Rank 6. Um, this is a quick introduction for probably the new visitors to this channel. Um, a quick recap of why the name of this series is uh, The Final Battle. So basically, those of you who know it already, um, you, you guys know that I have tried to draw a parallel between the Mahabharata battle which lasted for 18 days and the CA final exams which round about last for the same time. Now I know it's it's a very broad parallel to draw but definitely in the lives of CA student the CA final exams hold importance equivalent to the Mahabharata battle. Henceforth the final battle because probably this is the last exam within the CA journey. In fact not probably it is actually the last exam in your CA journey. Um, hopefully if you clear the exams. So and actually to make sure that uh, you clear the exams this series is here to give you a few tips just a few days before the exam probably 30 odd days until the exam to go. Uh, I will not tell you how to clear the exam in 30 days but I can definitely tell you through this series um, that how, which are the common mistakes that people make which we are supposed to avoid. So definitely uh, out of my experience with speaking to people over the last couple of attempts or in fact more I have come to know that there are a lot of common mistakes that CA students make which leads them to not clearing um, the exams and which I would want all of you to avoid because those are probably simple mistakes but then if you um, don't pay attention to them it might lead to failure. So I will try to bring a series of short videos about 5 to 7 minutes wherein I, uh, in each video I will talk about one such common mistake uh, that you should avoid making. So this first video uh, I want to cover in this first video uh, the mistake that people make that is paper chuja. So people often are not able to complete CA final papers, in fact CA inter papers as well. So this goes for both. Um, so I tell you, in fact as a matter of fact, I remember a close friend of mine, in fact a number of them could not complete the FR paper and one of them attempted 70 marks, one of them attempted 80 marks. In fact people who are inter rankers also uh, could not complete the paper. As a matter of fact, I was able to complete the paper and I happened to score 86 marks in the paper of FR versus a friend of mine just attempted 70 and another friend just attempted 80. So think of this difference, that broad difference that I am trying to make over here. If you 86 tabhi hi if you attempt 100 marks. Ka attempt karoge. If you are attempting 80 marks, then even if you are of equal caliber, you will get 80 into 86%, which is around 65-67 marks. So the point I'm trying to make is only if you attempt the paper will you be getting marks. If you leave the paper, you will obviously don't get marks. Now I'm not blaming to all those people who paper shoot paper. Probably actually FR papers definitely are very lengthy and not just FR, even DT papers are very lengthy. In fact, all the papers are very lengthy. But FR and DT specifically are such papers which get the chances of shooting as compared to let's say an SFM um, or, or other papers. So one thing, uh, now there are number of reasons why uh, your paper shoot I mean obviously apart from the reason that papers are lengthy at the first place. Um, so I want to cover all those reasons one by one probably in this video I'll restrict to just one video, uh, one reason rather and that is lack of writing practice. Um, there are other reasons as well as to probably attempting the wrong question first rather choosing the wrong questions out of the options that you are given etc. But I'll come uh, cover those in the forthcoming video so as to keep this video short. Long story short, um, yes, FR papers are usually lengthy. So FR, the thing about FR papers, like what I have understood so far, even in fact DT as well, they are not very tough person. DT is a lot of times, but FR papers usually are not very tough. They are more or less a lot of sums are they from the module only. Aapko aata bhi hai. It's just that um, because they are lengthy, you are unable to just complete the paper. And a lot of people do get excited seeing the paper. Oh, my God, this is a you get marks only if you are able to attempt. The, uh, the three hours or, or rather the hundred marks of paper. The harsh reality though is aapke aane se aapko marks nahi milenge, aapke paper pe likhne se aapko marks milenge and that is something that you do need to remember that your entire preparation of you know those six months or in fact those two and a half years will be adjudged by those 25 hours of exam that is three hours into uh, eight papers plus uh, elective kai or uh, one more hour. So that way it comes to 25 hours. So you need to make sure you perform very well in those 25 hours. So again, long story short, what are, what is the reason I want to cover? Uh, what can you do about, uh, what can you do to make sure that you avoid this mistake of uh, probably not attempting 100 marks is number one, 
uh, and I'll cover just one in this video that is you should do enough and sufficient writing practice. So um, on this, I would really like to say I was not someone who did a lot of writing practice. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, you did not do it yourself, but you're suggesting it to us. So I just, um, you know, want to point out two types of people, two categories of people. There's one category of people who was like me, probably I. So what I did was I had just written, let's say, one paper. Um, I had written four papers across eight subjects and I had tried to adjudge my speed basis that one paper and more or less I knew I'll be able to complete the paper basis the one paper that I had written and I was reasonably confident that okay, thoda. so maybe I might not go on to write as much of notes or as much of explanation but at least the answer I'll be able to write and I'll be able to complete the paper so I had as much of confidence versus let's say and another reason is in fact the reason I'm telling you to do a lot of writing practices it's probably for a lot of us last exam job you have done inter tha. and after that directly three years after the final ka exam you probably you have given B.com or B.com in the exam diya hoga, but then obviously it is not comparable with CA exams so a lot of you would have including myself would have you know left that writing practice so writing ki aadat chut gayi and you will notice that when you write the first time you will feel which means you have to make sure that you get hands on to that writing experience so that you will not chalk in the exam uh, I mean, your speed otherwise will be slow if you directly experiment writing some. So I did ensure that by writing four papers across eight subjects. And so far as writing speed is concerned, it's extremely important to know your writing speed. Basically, um, either write four papers, write, write eight papers, write 16 papers. Jab tak aapko ye confidence nahi aata hai ke aap exam mein paper complete kar pao ke, tak, tak paper practice chalu rakho. And I think the last 30-35 days before exam is the perfect time to uh, go about writing papers in the simulated environment with no distraction and also what's very important is to write ICAI standards of paper that is um, probably mock test papers are not as much of standard as an actual exam I'm not sure about the test series that you get I will say write past exam K so for example if you're appearing for let's say November uh, 22 then write a May 22 paper or a December 21 paper or a July 21 paper as the case may be but write an actual exam paper so as for you to get an idea okay if I were appearing for let's say a May 22 exam would I have been able to complete the paper you need to know the answer for yourself if let's say you were able to complete 95 marks write one more paper and try and make sure you are able to complete 100 marks 95 likha to 5 kyu nahi likha was it a wrong choice of question was it let's say a wrong sequence was it maybe you became overconfident that I make a hai so analyze it yourself See kahan pe aapne and compare it with the model test rather model answers, suggested answers. Check kahan pe aapne zyada likha hai. Kahi bar we tend to write more explanation than is sought. So ab dekho kahan pe zyada likha hai, kahan pe kam likha hai and accordingly try and make sure the next practice paper you write, you attempt 100 marks. The day you become confident, okay I'll be able to write 100 marks in F hour and so, so on and so forth for the other subjects as well you may stop uh, practicing the papers. I mean, obviously you may practice it for the other reasons, let's say uh, choice of question, etc. But so far as writing speed is concerned, if you are confident, eight paper likhne se bhi, if you are confident, write just one paper. But uh, unless you become confident, you may go on writing papers. But make sure you do write enough papers, you practice enough so that you don't, don't experiment on the day of exam. It's CA final, there is no scope for experimentation. Arjun ke Dhanudar uh, jo tha, matab, he could not have directly practiced bow and arrow in the battle of Mahabharat. He had practiced it before only because he was able to perform, only, only hence he was able to perform well. Accordingly, practice it well enough uh, for you to be able to complete 100 marks and obviously if you complete 100 marks then uh, you'll be able to score as good as 86 marks in FR or even more I would really hope. So uh, uh, stay tuned, I'll come back with more such videos not just on writing practice or speed. There's other common mistakes that people usually make. I will point out those mistakes that you should avoid making and at the same time, uh, how can you practice enough to avoid making those mistakes? Thank you.